Hi, this is Karthik from Design School, the place where I teach you how to design, build, and customize your WordPress websites. If you are new here, consider subscribing. Let's get into today's video. In this video, I'll show you how to create a dual heading using unlimited elements add-on. It's a free download from WordPress repository and you need to have Elementor installed for this. And for those of you who've been following this channel right from the beginning, we already made a dual heading widget using HTML widget of Elementor. That was really hard. You had to understand code. But now that we have unlimited elements, I'll show you how easy it is to create dual heading without any coding knowledge, just with basic understanding of HTML and CSS. We'll not be writing any code. We'll just type a single piece of HTML. That's all we need to do to create a dual heading. So dual heading is a heading in which one part has certain properties and the other part of heading has different properties. It can be color, font size, it can be font weight, it can be anything. So we'll make this all dynamic and let's see how we can do this. And for those of you who want to see how it's done with HTML widget, I'll leave a link to that, but it almost feels primitive at this point cause we, it's so easy to do this in unlimited elements. So the first thing is to click on add widget. And if you're new to unlimited elements, you can check out unlimited elements basics video that I made a day ago. I'll click on the widget title. I'll call it dual heading. This widget is also available with essential add-ons free version, I believe. So just give your widget a title that you want to appear on the front end. Name should be in small letters and separated by underscores. So let's click on add widget. I'll double click on this to edit it just to add one line of HTML and CSS to make it a dual heading widget that I want. Let's also pick an icon. I'll click on choose. I'll type heading and I think this will fit better. It would be better if they updated the icons to Fontasm 5 icons, now that the Elementor core version has all of them built in. So anyway, we'll go to HTML. So this is where we need to add HTML. Type the code, the single line of HTML code that you see on the screen and that's all you need to do in order to create a dual color heading widget or a dual heading widget. So the first thing, H2. Give it a class name. You'll understand why we are giving it a class name. So I'll call it dual header. After that, leave some space and close the h2 tag. So this is how HTML works. And in between h2 opening tag and closing tag, insert span tags. So, So this is the code that you need to type to have your dual heading widget. I'll show you how it works. So between the opening h2 tag and the opening span tag, let's type some text. So let's call it part one. Between span tags, let's type some text. Let's call it part two. So part one, this is the part one of dual heading. And this is the part of dual heading. I'll click on update. I told you in the previous video or in the unlimited elements basics video that if you want to make the static piece of text dynamic, or if you want to take the input from user, you need to create attributes. That's what we're going to do for our dual heading. I'll go to attributes. Since there are two parts in our heading widget, we'll create two attributes. The first one is heading part one. Let's call it heading part one. And it's a text field since your heading is actually a text field. Let's give it a value. So let the dual value, the first default value be dual. I'll call the second. We can duplicate this and simply edit it. I'll call it part two. Clear this out underscore two. And let's change the default value of the second part to heading. You can give any default value. And when the user doesn't enter anything, this will be the value that will be appearing in the text field. So we're done with the attributes. I said that whenever you want to replace any static piece of text, it can be anything. It can be this text or it can be anything that you see on the screen. If you want to replace that with a dynamic value, all you need to do is to add attribute. Since we have already created attribute, I'll replace part one with heading part one attribute. I'll replace part two with heading part to attribute. 
and guess what we just created our dual heading widget can't believe that so let's go ahead and test it out i'll open an element of page open any element of page post custom post type or a template you basically need to open the element of interface you can scroll down to the bottom or within my collection you can find dual heading if you want to make it easier you can also search for it so you can type dual in the search box and you can also find this widget that we just created i'll click and drag it somewhere around the page so let's put it here maybe and that's it now you see the first part and the second part and alignment we need to change it we'll add a little bit of css just to align the text based on again we'll make that at an attribute let's enter some text the first part of my heading and this should be my second part of the heading let's style it let's enable style you can see you can style part 1 separately so i can make part 1 bigger i can change the font color I can change font family i'll change whatever i want let's also change the weight to 300 maybe so that's part 1 now let's edit part 2 it's all editable since we added a dynamic text field and enabled font editing this gave us a style tab in the widget that we can edit now i can edit my part 2 i just need to click on enable styles go to typography change the size you can change basically any text property you want that's what dual heading stands for right we just created it with one line of html code and by using unlimited elements we just created it let's change some properties of this i'll change the font family itself i'll pick pacifico let's change the style to italic it's already italic but anyway i think the actual version looks better so let it be default fine that's it so this is a heading in which one part has certain set of properties and the other part has different set of properties cool right and these are totally editable with the sliders that you already know in elementor okay we just need one more field which is to align the text or the heading widget itself that's the reason why i gave a class to h2 and guess what it doesn't even have to be h2 we'll also give the user freedom to choose whichever heading he wants so if he wants h3 he can choose h3 for our widget if he wants h4 how do we do that again we just create attribute for that and replace this h2 value and also here with an attribute it's that simple let's first give the user the ability to align the text we already know the class name it's dual header i'll copy this in css just one line of code dot dual header within flower braces type in your css it's text align this is the property css property that's all you need to remember let's give it a default value of center again we don't want this to be a static value so we'll create an attribute for this but instead of text field i want the user to be able to choose the type of alignment he wants so that is actually a drop down let's call the drop down alignment let the name be the same and here you have an option to enter text so it doesn't matter whichever whatever you put here this should be the value that is to be replaced in the css so it takes three values let's make the text and value the same this is what is going to be replaced when you paste the attribute let's call it left and you can see the uh, it already picks a default value for it i just want the default value to be center or let's make the default value to be left i'll give another attribute i'll call it right and let's click on add attribute now we can go to css instead of a static value you can pick alignment 
and based on what the user picks on the front end that value will be replaced here and so the dual header will be aligned based on the value that the user pick i told you these attributes can be replaced in html css javascript wherever you need and we need one more attribute i told you i just want to make this h2 dynamic as well so i want the user to choose which type of heading he wants so they're basically headings from h1 to h6 it's not a good idea to use h1 on your page again and again so we'll just use h2 so we'll have another drop down menu this time with heading type let the name be the same so call h1 value be sorry we don't want h1 on our page it's usually the title it's a good seo practice to have just one h1 this for h4 h5 and h6 we can remove this and the value for h4 should be h4 h5 should be h5 for h6 the value can be h6 and by default i'll just pick h2 i'll click on add attribute now within my html instead of h2 i'll just click heading type and even in the closing tag i need to replace it with heading type cause this starting tag and the opening tag should be the same i'll click on update i'll refresh this page once again to see how that looks like so this is how our dual header looks like or dual heading looks like you can also make this dynamic or if you have the pro version of elementor you'll get this dynamic option in your widget if you have the free version of elementor you won't be getting dynamic option here so that's one thing to note and now we have two more attributes that we just created let's change it to center and now you see the header or the heading is moved onto the center in the container let's change it to right because when we chose center the value of text align is replaced as center cause this is the name and the value for it is the same so when you pick right the header is moved on to right but center alignment looks good so i'll pick center so based on what option i pick here the alignment is changed and let's also change heading type so i'll just change it to h3 let's change it to h4 and just like that you can examine that from the html so minimize the side panel right click inspect so it's an h4 now let's change that to h3 again and view or inspect the element i changed it to h3 we'll right click i'll click on inspect i'll see which html tag it has now it has h3 so within that we have span class which stands for the second part of our dual heading so the first part second part and the whole heading so that's it we just created a dual heading i already told you that this widget is capable of doing a lot more i'll show you all the possibilities there are a ton of possibilities for this widget so whatever you can imagine with html css and javascript can be done just by using this widget you can also load your third party libraries i'll be showing that in future videos that's it for now hope you guys like this if you did give it a thumbs up make sure you subscribe and if you want to get the pro version of unlimited elements to get access to all the widgets created by the unlimited elements team you can get the pro version i'll leave a link to that in the description make sure you check that out i'll catch you in the next video peace